Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about Hike Vision camera not saving the configuration or change the configuration by itself. Okay, so you have the following problem. You go there to the cameras menu, you change the configuration, video resolution, for example, frame rate or something. And then you come back later and the value there is different. Somehow the camera is changing it, right? And you don't want that. So I have the solution here. I'm going to explain how everything works. I'm going to give you an example here and show you that happening and how to fix it okay so uh, let's take a look here at what I have on my network and then I can show you an example and how to fix it okay so basically what I have here is a camera working on my web browser it's a high vision camera and let me show here the diagram I have the camera here connected to a switch and I also have this NVR connected to the same switch in my computer this laptop okay that i can't manage the camera so here i have my nvr as you can see it's a high vision for channel nvr i'm not using those ports i'm using just the lan port connected to my router and uh, to my switch okay and from there i'm connecting the camera okay and i have also this cable connected to the monitor so we can see directly here in the monitor okay so back here to the diagram we can see here we go is the nvr connecting to the switch and the camera is also connected to the switch this way the camera can send the video stream to be recorded here on the nvr right and i can also check everything from the laptop okay so the idea is that i can record from my camera to my nvr i can also see from my computer i can also see from internet using hike connect but i don't want to change the resolution there or the parameters because i want to record the main video stream on the nvr i want good quality and i don't want anybody or anything changing my parameters there okay so let's take a look here on my camera so i can show what's going on with the changes uh, so when i come here to the configuration and I come to this menu, video audio. And here I have all my parameters for the mainstream. I have the resolution. I'm using the highest one here, which is 8 megapixel, variable bit rate, video quality median, and all other parameters here. So sometimes when I come here and change, let's say, for example, to 4096, the maximum bit rate, I get a green check, I save, and I make sure that's saved here it's the information and sometimes when i come back here it's back to a different value right let me just refresh here sometimes it happens right away i sometimes take like one two hours to happen but it happens and then i don't know what's going on and i need to find out what is changing this what's triggering the changes right so back to the diagram let's understand better what's going on Basically here you have to investigate what you have on your network. I have the NVR, so perhaps the NVR is doing something and triggering the changes on, on my camera or somebody else on the network using a different computer or the mobile phone that's using the Hike Connect to connect to the camera. Somehow the camera is getting an information to change, a command to change the parameters because the camera doesn't change this by itself, okay? Either somebody or something is changing the parameters there. So what I have to, to do is to investigate and find this, okay? So let's come back here to the camera, refresh one more time, see if it, the value is still there, it's the same one. Here we go, it's the same one yet. Sometimes it changes like in minutes, sometimes it changes in hours or even days. So let's do this. Let's come here to this system maintenance and take a look at the logs. That's pretty important because here you can see who it's connecting to your camera. So when I come here to operation, that lives like that, uh, all type and I hit search and I see that, look, my computer is connecting to my camera. Here's the IP from the remote device connected to the camera. I know that's my computer. Here's the IP of the NVR. So the NVR is connecting to the camera, okay? And sending some command to get the video stream. That's common because it's getting the video stream, right? So I have my computer, 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 and the NVR sometimes is connecting to my camera as well, okay? So if you have more devices, you can take a look here if they are connected to your camera. 
pretty easy. Okay, remember something? If you have uh, your camera working and you don't see any logs here, go to your camera and insert the SD card, format the SD card so you can have the logs because if it doesn't have, if, if there's no SD card on the camera, there's no way to record the logs. Okay, remember that? So back here to my video audio and you see, it's already changed it to 81.92. So while I was checking the logs and doing something else, it changed it by itself. And as you can, could see right, right there on logs again, I have devices connecting to my camera. Let's just select operation here. I have devices connecting to my camera and one of them is, you see my computer is connecting again. I have more logs now. The NVR should be somewhere here. You see, here we go. The NVR is here. And uh, the NVR could be the one triggering this change, right? So we need to investigate that. One way of doing this is just to change the username that connects to this camera. Okay, let me explain what I mean. So if you come here to the camera user management, we have different users, we have admin and have a different user here, okay? Let me just remove this one, for example, that I'm not using it. So I can make sure I need to input the password here to be able to do some changes. Here we go. Uh, password error, let me try again. Here we go. Now I have just one user and that's the one that I'm using uh, from my NVR to connect to the camera. Okay, so basically I go to the NVR and I say, hey NVR, when you connect to the camera, please connect using this user, admin, okay? And the user admin has all the privileges here on the camera to change anything, right? So if I come here to the admin and I click modify, I see that I have all the privileges, okay? And I cannot change this. So what I can do is create a new user and give the new user different privilege, privileges, okay? So uh, back here to the diagram, that's what's happening here. The NVR is basically connecting to the camera using the admin password and changing the parameters here. That's my theory, right? I just have a theory here I need to confirm. So what I can do is test the NVR. So let's come back here to my NVR and take a look. So here, when I come to my NVR, right click menu, let me just log in into it. On cameras, I see all my cameras. This is the first one that I'm talking about. Okay, here I have live video. And here, when I click here to change the parameters or the configuration, double click. See, I'm using the username admin. Okay. So that could be the reason that the camera is changing the parameters there. What I can do to test here is just change the parameter in the camera again and come here to the NVR and add the camera again. So I'm basically saying to the NVR, hey NVR, connect to the camera using the user admin and add the camera back. Okay, you can remove the camera from the NVR and add it back and see if the parameters changing changes here on my camera. Let's do this, okay? So come back here, uh, minimize my diagram and come back here to the video audio. Let's change here to something like 2048, okay? Just to test it, make sure it's change it. i just refresh here. Here we go, it's 2048. Now I'm coming to my NVR and when I insert the password here again, it's going to connect to the camera again. So let's do that. So here you go, I have the admin and the password. That's the user that I have in the camera. I hit OK, wait for it to connect. And here we go. I have the status, good, it's working. Back here to my camera and just refresh it. And here we go, 8192. That's triggering the changes, okay? Here I have the maximum bit rate 8000 for the mainstream, high resolution and things like that. And the substream, as you can see, the camera can connect with one or another. Substream has low resolution, less quality, okay? So 
what I want to do is to keep using the bit rate that I want here so I can connect and have no changes, right? So here's the problem. You know, we know that uh, the NVR is triggering these changes on the, the camera. Now you need a, a solution, okay? So the solution is just to use a new user. So let's create a new user. So let's come here to system, user management, add the new user here. And now let me just type here my name as the user and I'm going to select the level of operator. You can have user has less privileges and also operator with some privileges as remote log search, remote live view, manual record, playback. That's okay. There's no privileges to change the password or uh, to change the parameters such as resolution and stuff like that, right? So let me just type here my password for the admin and the password for the new user. So I'm basically creating a new user with less privileges. Click OK, wait for it, and here we go. I have a new user. And now I'm coming back to my NVR. And now, oh, before I do that, let's just come back here to the video audio so we can check that's not changing anymore. Okay, I'm changing here, let's say, this time 40, uh, 61, 44. Okay, let's just play with this one. And I want to keep that, okay? So I don't want any very change in it. Let's come, uh, let's refresh one more time, just make sure it's there. Always like check if it's really there. So here we go. Back here to my NVR, I'm just change this. And instead of add me, I'm going to connect now using the new user, okay? With my name here. Here we go, the username and the password. Now this username doesn't have much privileges, so we could check that later there on the camera if it's not changing anymore. Here are the status, it's working. Okay, so it's good to go, working. I come back here to the main screen, exit here and I have the image, everything's working fine here. Let's come back here to my camera, refresh. Sometimes you see the changes here because while you are like changing the user there on the camera, if the camera communicates uh, on the NVR, I mean, the NVR communicates with the camera before you change the user there, the NVR can change the parameters here, right? Because it takes some time to go there and insert a new user to communicate with the NVR. Sometimes happens in this interval, the NVR communicates again and changes, right? But right now, I'm sure that I have the new user connected to the camera and it doesn't supposed to change anymore. So let's come back here. Uh, as you see, I refresh it. It's the same value yet. And, and keep refreshing here all the time. It doesn't change anymore, okay? So I test it uh, later with uh, connection. So you could come to NVR, I have the NVR also here via web browser, as you can see, connecting to my camera. Here's the camera that I'm talking about. Double click here, I see in full screen. Okay, double click again, and I can remove it from here if I want to. Just uncheck it here and check it again. So basically I'm forcing the NVR to communicate with the camera, okay? So it's getting the stream again, stream number one, substream. You can also connect to the substream with less quality. Substream again, just uh, changing the parameters here, the, the connection I mean here, to see if it triggers something on the camera, okay? So back here, refresh again. If it works, so it's the same value yet. It's not changing anymore. No matter what I do here on the NVR, it's still keeping the same parameters there on the camera, okay? So that's usually uh, the cause of the problem. So somebody or something, in this case, something, that's the NVR is triggering the changes 
the camp. So you need to go there and make sure that this NVR doesn't have the privileges to change the parameters on the camera anymore. And usually it works fine if that's the NVR causing the problem. If you have more than one device on the network, you need to take a look at all of them. One thing that you can do as well if you have a lot of device on the network is just to go to the camera and change the camera's password, right? You can still use the admin user, but change it, change the password there. When you change the password, so the devices that are connecting the camera are not going to connect to the camera again, so they cannot change the parameters. So if you have, let's say 10, 16 cameras, uh, NVRs or recorders or something connected to the cameras, whatever, you can go to the camera and change the, the password there before you start changing the user in every single device, all right? So that way you make sure that uh, it's, that's the problem, the user is the problem. Uh, and remember, you need to change the password on the camera and restart the camera. Okay, otherwise you can still have the problem. When we start the camera and no device can connect to the camera anymore, then you change the parameter there and you test it and you see if it's working. If it's still working, that's the, the problem, right? Something is connected to your camera and change the parameters. So you can do this uh, procedure that I did here and go to the device and change the username for the new one that you created on the camera. Okay, so I hope this helped and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. I see you in the next one.